Hey guys, this is my uh, 55 gallon tank with my Grimo male Grimaud cichlid. He's about five and a half inches, I'm sorry, four and a half inches, almost five inches. Got him in there with three Pictus catfish. He uh, doesn't tolerate any other cichlid tank mates. He, uh, I have a female I had in there with him. He was getting pretty rough with her. I had them together in the uh, 120 community tank, but uh, he was chasing her down. So I just put him in a 55 by himself. He, they're pretty slow growing fish. Once you get fully grown, I'd recommend a 75 gallon, 75 to 90 gallon tank from male Grimaud, the solo male Grimauds. They're pretty aggressive, so I, I wouldn't say, uh, yeah, I wouldn't try to put them in any community tanks. I've seen it done, but it's an unnecessary risk unless you can afford it. Uh, you just got money to throw away, go ahead. But um, I keep mine with these three Pictus catfish. If you kill those off, I won't put them with anything else. He was beating up my Royal Pleco I had in there with them, so I put the Royal Pleco in, in another tank. But yeah, they uh. I, I don't if I said it. I don't know if I said it already, but they max out about ten inches. They're one of the slowest growing cichlids you'll come across. I've um, most people don't. They're not the most popular fish. I think that's because of the slow growth rate. After I've seen, I've heard that they, I've heard they grow as slow as an inch per year or a couple inches per year. My male is actually put on about half an inch since I've had them in the last three months. So I don't know. Yeah, I do, he is on a good diet and I do water changes. Um, I do 10% daily water changes in his 55 gallon tank. I know you guys can see those um, dried up watermarks that's on the back glass from uh, me uh, doing maintenance on the tank and uh splashing water back there i clean the front glass but it's just a little bit harder to clean the back glass i'll take that background off and clean the back glass eventually soon but um yeah i'll just give you guys a little care guide about remote cichlids um they are one of the most aggressive fish you could come across so um they uh are very predatory, so I wouldn't have anything that can fit in their mouth. They um are pretty easy to. I wouldn't say they're easy to breed, but I wouldn't say they're hard that hard to breed also, because they'll breed at a pretty young age if given proper conditions. Um, and for care, they're pretty much similar to all other uh. Central American cichlids, especially the, their me, I could say, say they're a medium size Central American cichlid. Oh, there goes a Pictus catfish having a little dispute there. But I'd uh, just give them good water quality. I do, me personally, I do 10% daily water changes. That isn't completely necessary, but I'd recommend at least do 40% a week. 20 to 40 percent 30 to 40 percent weekly water changes but, um keep the temperatures i keep my tank at about 78 to 84 degrees depending on uh the season i try to fluctuate it a little bit just to give them different seasons. All right, guys, I'll give you another uh, couple seconds to just look at them and enjoy the Mogger Mode. 